Hey guys, today we'll be building a Discord rat and masking it as an image. So the way that this will work is we're going to be using a builder from Discord, I mean from GitHub, and it, it'll be linked below, and it's made by Moom825. So we're going to make an exe file, which will act as our backdoor, and we're going to link it to a bot and a server that gives us access to the computer's webcam, downloads, and more. We're also going to mask this exe as a photo at the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so in your browser, type github.com slash moom825 slash discordrat2.0, or just use the link in the description. Click on the GitHub link, and then in the repo, just scroll down a bit, and you'll find like the pre-compiled stuff. Uh, you will need to turn off Microsoft Defender because it identifies it as a virus. So you're just going to click on release.zip. Yeah, it's going to say block by smart screen. Go here. Keep. Show more. Keep anyway. All right. Now just open up the file. Let's go to downloads. And let's extract everything. Yep, extract. All right, so now we need to go ahead and build a bot. So go to discord.com slash developers slash applications and click on new application on the top right corner. Now we can name it. I'm just going to go with these nuts. Accept the terms and conditions and create. I am human. All right. So now you're going to hover over the three lines. And you're going to click on bot. Right, go down. Under Privileged Gateway Intents, you're going to check off all three boxes, Save Changes. Alright, then let's go down, and for Bot Permissions, we're, we're going to select Administrator. Now, did I save the changes again? Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to OAuth 2, scroll down a bit, and we're going to check off applications.commands and bot. Now we're going to scroll down a bit more and select administrator. All right. Now scroll all the way down and save this URL for later. It will be important. All right, next we have to create a Discord server. So you can go to the Discord app or just discord.com, add a server, create my own for me and my friends. Let's just do Walnut server, create. All right, great. So. You know that link from earlier? Well, we need it now. So we're going to go here, Control-V, OK? So add to our server, continue. Administrator is checked off, make sure it is, and authorize. Oh, it's asking you to do a CAPTCHA. All right, so now it's time to actually build our executable. So we're going to go back into File Explorer and then click on Release, Builder. It's going to say malicious. It's not malicious. Just run. You can run this on a VM like what I'm doing right now. It's going to ask for the bot token and the guild ID. So the guild ID is just a server ID. So 
Let's go to My Applications. Go back to Bot. Wait, where, where was it? Where was it? Oh, here. Reset Token. Yep, let's do it. Enter our password. Submit. All right, so let's go get that new token. Copy. And now let's go to, wait, where'd it go? Oh, shoot. Defender freaking deleted it. Give me a second. Dang it. All right. We're gonna go all the way down. Wait, no, not that. If you right-click your server, server, go all the way down and just copy the server ID. Scroll all the way down and press copy server ID. Go ahead and actually run the builder. I have to try this again. Control V. And I need to get my bot token again. You just go back to the developer page and paste the bot token. Okay, now build. Great, so it built it to this directory. All right, so for this next part, you're going to need um, an image and the icon of that image and, of course, your exe file. So let's get our client and let's put it on our desktop. Let me get this beautiful picture I have. It's also my save screen. And then we can just go ahead, go here, go do ICO converter. What we're essentially doing right now is we're going to mask this EXC as an image. So, you know, it's less detectable. Detectable. Here, ICO converter.com. Choose a file. Hmm. Oh, I can't find my picture. All right, so just get your image. Let's do choose file. Okay, and then convert. And now we have this favicon.ico. So let's go ahead and move that. To our desktop. Okay, and by the way, you do need WinRAR for these next few steps. So make sure to go and download that if you don't have it. So now you're going to select the original image and in the, uh, no, not the I icon. We just need the original image and the exe. We select those, WinRAR, add to archive. All right, so you're going to do create SFX archive and let's change the name to something like raccoon all right so now we're gonna go ahead and go to advanced sfx options
then set up. Now on the top box, we're going to type the name of the OG image, which is James Sharks. Shoot, I forgot the file extension for the image. Shoot, with a PNG. Wait, fill that in in the top box. Now go, go to modes. We go, and then unpack the temporary folder. And hide all. Now go text and icon. There's logo and icon. All right, now load SFX icon from file. And this is where we're going to use our favicon.ico. All right, now on update. We're going to go ahead and extract and update all files and overwrite all files. Now, and then OK. And OK. Now we have raccoon, but it still says .exe. Now for this next part, we are going to use a little bit of witchcraft. So what we're going to need to do is use the RTLO character to change the file name. So we can just go to character map, open, all right, advanced view, and in the Unicode, we're going to do 202 capital E. And then... It's this one. Select, copy. Uh, now we're now we're gonna rename it. Rename. Now we're gonna go right before the dot, and we have to type whatever file extension we want backwards. So if we want JPG, it's GPJ. Let's do GPJ. And now we're going to go right before the G character and control V. And now it says raccoon exe.jpg, but it's still an exe. It's just masked as a JPG. All right, well, we have just made um, a Discord rat and masked it as a JPG. That's all for today's video, and tune in for next Miscellaneous Malware Monday. Thank you so much for watching.